Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and right now I'm going to tell you about 5GNR SSB locations, frequency offsets and different rasters. So as you may already know, in 4G network, in LTE, user equipment stands every time right at the center of uh, cell bandwidth in order to find uh, primary synchronization signal, secondary synchronization signal, uh, physical broadcast channel and uh, decode all necessary information for initial access. In 5GNR we have multiple numerologies. We can have different subcarrier spacings and bandwidth parts. So it means that SSB location in 5GNR uh, can have um, can be different in frequency domain. So now let's look at my example. Here the 5G cell bandwidth, uh, here the center of that bandwidth, let's suppose so. Uh, SSB block can be located from the right side, from the left side or at the center, actually it doesn't matter. Here the sum offset to carrier center. Uh, so the user equipment should somehow to find SSB block in frequency domain in order to uh, perform initial access. There are two methods basically for non-standalone mode when uh, LTE uh, inode B base station uh, used as a leg, as a support uh, for uh, 5G NR. For this mode user equipment receive a uh, special RRC message with uh, NR ARFCN uh, number. So what does it mean? It means that this is absolute uh, radio frequency channel number. It means that user equipment find the exact location of SSB block by reading RFC message from uh, provided from uh, LTE network. Uh, such methods is uh, method is very good because it can help the UE to find SSB block very fast uh, and um, perform initial access very fast as well. Uh, but also one more benefit of uh, reading NR ARFCN is uh, the power consumption. A user equipment doesn't need to scan the full bandwidth, yes, with uh, very low granularity, because uh, such method has uh, low granularity. Is um, it can be five or fifteen or sixty kilohertz. So um, it means that a user recruitment can find the exact location of SSB block. For standalone mode, SSB block follows the special uh, global synchronization channel number raster. So what does it mean raster? Raster it means that there are some uh, special locations and SSB follows the special frequency location every time. Uh, it means that user equipment should scan these uh, the full bandwidth in order to with special granularity with uh, GSCN granularity uh, in order to find and understand SSB block. Uh, such method uh, has um, much larger granularity. Uh, there are different formulas uh, you can find in 3GPP specifications but um, it can be about one megahertz granularity so um, you can ask me why for standalone we cannot use uh, this method with uh, narrow with more precise uh, granularity um, it would be pretty hard for user equipment uh, to f scan the whole bandwidth with very narrow granularity. It will um, require 
more power consumption and uh, the initial access would be not so fast. Okay, okay. after defining uh, the exact location of SSB block, user equipment wants to find the uh, reference point A. Let's look at my example. This is pretty complicated, I know, but I'm sure we will figure out all of this. Uh, this is the whole cell bandwidth, let's assume so. Uh, this is resource grid with 30 kilohertz subcarrier spacing, yeah, this part. And this part is resource grid with uh, 15 kilohertz subcarrier spacing. Common resource block uh, zero uh, I mean, the center of common resource block zero is used to identify the reference point A position. So this is a zero common resource block, the, uh, the first in uh, the whole cell bandwidth, yes? So it is used, the center of that common resource block used for identifying reference point A position, yeah? Uh, in case of SSB, has the same subcarrier spacing, has the same uh, resource grid as uh, uh, the cell. Yes, in this case, uh, we will have only resource point A offset. Yeah, for example, this is SSB block here, and uh, there will be only reference point A. Reference point A can be counted uh, in, uh, in common resource blocks. For, for example, this will be common resource block uh, N numbers to our SSB block, for example, if SSB block would uh, have the same subcarrier spacing like this. In case of different subcarrier spacing, I mean, in case of SSB has another uh, granularity, another um, resource grid, yes, like in my example, 15 kilohertz. We uh, should use another additional offset. It is K SSB offset in order to um, adjust our reference point offset to the another subcarrier spacing. And as you can see, even common resource blocks can be calculated with another subcarrier uh, spacing, 15 kilohertz, like in my example. So basically uh, such reference points can be, uh, again, calculated in this way or uh, can be calculated from a signalization from LTE network uh, provided by uh, provided in uh, RC messages. So basically, it was short overview of my uh, examples about reference point A offset, about K SSB offset, uh, different uh, rasters, SSB location. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.